struggle with making decisions in your life? Are you interested in Arduinos? Do you even know what an Arduino is? Well, the Dome of Destiny can answer all of these questions and more. It'll charge your batteries. When I was in high school, I wanted to learn how to solder. The first project I ever soldered was the Alderon Shard. Now the Alderon Shard is a custom garage door sensor that's made to look like it came from Star Wars. If you would like to learn more about that project, you can click the card right here. Or you can watch it after this video, or you can pause this video and watch it now. Whatever you choose, it's definitely an interesting video you can watch. After working on the shard, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed soldering and I wanted to learn more. So we picked up a bunch of these beginner level learn to solder kits. They're not too expensive, they're like five or six dollars each. This was actually the first one that I put together and I know that because I destroyed it on the back. But um, we built this whole device so that they could have a home. We built a second revolver wheel because this one's bad. The Dome of Destiny is patterned after an old-fashioned stock telegraph machine, but the electronics are modern and there are lots of LEDs. To better see what's under the dome, let's move the dome. So the first thing we had to do for this entire project was figure out we were going to mount everything. And we began with this structure you see here. It is balsa wood and epoxy that we formed around the dome. And it acts kind of like a turtleneck on the dome. Balsa wood strips were taped around the dome to make the shape for the turtleneck. Yay! Once three layers of balsa had been glued together, the entire turtleneck was sanded and then coated in epoxy. Then it was glued to the wooden base, primed and painted. Oak strips were added later to make the turtleneck base look like a solid piece of oak. The next component that we worked on was what we call this structure, the stage. Originally, we were going to put all the electronics down into the dome and uh, only have the lights come up. But then we realized showing everything was cool and we needed a place to showcase it. Thus came the stage, which is just a piece of red oak that we cut with a jigsaw so we could fit the space. So this chassis, which is what holds everything, was originally painted bronze because we were trying to make the whole thing look like a, a ticker tape. But when we painted the wood bronze, it just looks like painted wood instead of looking like metal. So we painted it gray. The chassis is a wooden framework that all of the electronics are mounted to. We tried several paint variations before admitting defeat and settling on a dark gray color. So the components that make up the dome part of the dome are the spinning roulette wheel, this Arduino that runs a Larson scanner back into the depths of the chassis. Lynn Larson was a TV producer in the 70s and 80s. Some of his shows prominently featured a horizontal red scanner. This lighting effect was so iconic that it is known for all time as the Larson scanner. Seriously, go Google it and you'll see what we mean. The Larson scanner was used by these guys. And also, Knight Rider. our Larson scanner is just three color LEDs that the Arduino uses to indicate it is working. Normally, one of these LEDs remains lit at all times so that the Dome of Destiny always has an LED or two lit. Uh, this LCD readout screen, which is connected to a Magic 8 ball and a 30 second timer, uh, dice, and a yes, no decision maker. But I'm not done yet. So this is the back of the dome, and this is the power distribution center. We have one transformer that drives all of it. This right here is the back of the uh, the circuitry for the yes no decision maker. That's pretty cool. But I think the coolest part about all of this right here is this. This is the circuitry for the remote control, and this is the antenna. That's the radio receiver right here. The roulette wheel has ten LEDs and it just spins in a circle by turning on different LEDs. Now if you buy this kit, you will have different LEDs. We put our own more powerful ones inside because they look cooler. We kept the switch active so we can test it, but you can also use the button down below to make it work. Now 
So here you can see the Arduino and it's driving this Larson scanner and you can see the blue LED is, li is lit up. And then you have this LCD readout and it has a Magic 8 Ball. But the Magic 8 Ball, normally they have 20 responses. Ours has 500, but more about that later. It also has a 30 second timer. Remember when I said I was gonna talk about stuff later? Later is now. The Magic 8 Ball has 500 custom responses. And there are over 1,500 lines of code to make that work. It's very, it's very intricate and it's very cool, but all, all of the responses are snarky and sarcastic and we wrote them all. It's pretty cool, I really like it. But once the timer finishes, the Larson scanner will light up and be like, the time's done, look at it. It's a little party. Let's ask the dome some questions. Oh, Dome of Destiny, should I get fast food tonight? Signs point to yes. Huh, not the way I'd have gone. Me too. Dome of Destiny, will I be successful in the future? The signs say desirable or good. That means yes. Oh, sweet. Uh, Dome of Destiny, will a meteor hit the earth tomorrow? Nope, not today, not tomorrow, not any day. Oh cool, this looks good for everybody. The electronic dice are pretty cool. It's two dice, but it's uh, every time you hit the button, it randomizes a roll. So now we got six, six, <laughs> four. You get the idea. Every single time, it's something different. Now you see these two LEDs that are just precariously placed, but actually they're very intentional. It is another way that you can ask the Dome of Destiny a question. It will give you a yes or no answer. So for instance, Dome of Destiny, should I wear sneakers tomorrow? The red and the green LED will light up for as long as you hold the button that is controlling it. And then it'll end and I should wear sneakers tomorrow. Now the remote control cluster has four relays that correspond to four buttons, A, B, C, and D. A can, corresponds to the yes, no decision maker, B to the dice, C to the roulette wheel, and D to the timer and eight ball respectively. So as I hit them, things are happening on the dome. It's pretty exciting. Now let's watch it all together. Yes, no decision maker, dice, roulette wheel, eight ball, Dice, roulette wheel, eight ball, yes to decision maker. Now this is a piece of engraved plastic that we got from a sporting goods store. We could have gotten it brass, but it would have cost around like $80 and this was 10. But it looks like brass. So you can, you can take shortcuts and look like the real thing. We recommend it. Behind the control panel are wires, obviously. Now let's take a look inside the Dome of Destiny. Now it looks like there's a lot going on, because there is. Right here, we have a battery recharging station. Where we have AA, AA batteries charging, AAA batteries charging, and 9 volt. Here, we have storage hoppers for AA, AAA, and 9 volt batteries, respectively. This is a box that is full of candles, if I can get it open. For an emergency situation, we have matches, candles, and birthday candles, you know, for emergencies. Here, we have emergency lanterns so we can see if there's a power outage. Like when there's power outage, we'll be able to see. Survival candle with three wigs. Very exciting. We have two of each of those. And here, something pretty interesting. We have a flashlight. Now when, when power is cut to the Dome of Destiny, the flashlight will turn on and shine up through the dome so we can find it in the dark. It lights our darkest hour. No. Light our darkest hour.
The emergency flashlight can be removed from the Dome of Destiny cabinet and used as a regular flashlight. Now this is an Annoyatron from Think from Think Geek about the uh, the early 2000s. You can find one similar to this, but it looks more in not industrial, but it looks more commercialized and less circuitry and cool. But they're still out there. Here we have a voltage meter so we can test batteries. So you just put battery in here, it tells you if it's good, and it's got another little section for, for nine volt batteries. And then we have the remote control that controls the top of the dome. I'm controlling this right now from the McDonald's down the street. Shiny. So let's talk about the structure of the Dome of Destiny. The body is built out of oak, and it was actually the first time that we used pocket holes. Fantastic, if you do not use pocket holes, I highly recommend. The whole thing is really skinny and slender and tall, and it feels like you could probably just tip it over really easily but we made it really dense just for that purpose so that anybody just like bumps into it on accident, oh no, it's fine. It did not fall over because we thought of that. The Dome of Destiny is a simple red oak cabinet that is held together with pocket screws. To give it a more stable base, we added flares to the top and bottom. This also gave us a larger area on top to put the dome support structure. The whole thing is stained and has two coats of polyurethane. The bottom is held in place by four brackets and the empty space is used to hide the power cord. The emergency light is mounted to the rear panel of the cabinet. The battery charger is bolted to a panel that is mounted to the front of the cabinet. That makes the battery charger easier to reach and also makes a tunnel for the emergency light to shine through. At the top of the cabinet is a double receptacle that is used by the battery charger and the power supply for dome electronics. You can easily see the emergency light tunnel on the left of the cabinet. Everything is really pretty. I absolutely love it. This top part, it, the main part of the, of the top here is about an inch thick, just some plywood and we put some oak around the edges. That way we wouldn't have to buy a, a solid oak slab that we're just gonna paint black. The dome and base are removable, allowing all of the electronics to be carried anywhere servicing is convenient. The dome can be easily reattached and is held in place by four brass bolts. But yeah, the dome is very strong. I love LEDs. I love lights. I love color. I love being surrounded by color and I wanted to make my own. A bunch of different sources. I like, I love watching different people on YouTube make things. Um, and I love to just look at maker fairs and go to maker fairs and different cons and, and where, where people, where different types of, of creative people come together and show off what they've made. I love when there's any sort of creativity, even if you took a kit and just changed one little aspect of it, like you're thinking outside the box, you didn't just buy something and put it together per the instructions. You put yourself into it, and I love that. Just start, start anywhere. I know that we have kind of an impressive workshop. We've acquired it over many, many years, but um, just pick up something simple, some, something really easy, like, like a handsaw or something, and just make something. I'm kind of in the same boat as, I, as I'm growing up and moving out. I have to buy my own tools. I'm starting with next to nothing, but I mean, there's nowhere else to go but up. I would love to work for Disney Imagineering and design some really cool roller coasters. I think that would be really fun because there's no real points to a roller coaster except to have fun, you know? Because you can make airplanes and you can make cars and they have a, a very specific purpose, but roller coasters, you just scream. That's, that's cool. All right, now you know about the Dome of Destiny. Pretty cool thing, I have to say. If you like this video, 
please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all the things you do on YouTube to show people that you care. Also, don't forget, we have a merch page. It's called Spreadshirt. It's down in the description. We've got a lot of really cool t-shirts. We've got a hat on there. We're gonna be adding more things soon. So keep your, keep your eyes open, because when we add things, we'll get a 15% discount. Super exciting. See you next time. Ah. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in.